the reasons that people come to the ERS Congress is to hear the latest. Well, we've got the latest for you in the field of uh, oncology. So I'm very pleased to welcome Celine Masco. You've been involved in a session which on uh, uh, lung uh, cancer, but particularly your field is the biology of lung cancer. Tell me a bit about your session. Thank you very much for welcoming me today. I'm very proud to be here with you. Yes, there is much, much, much progress in drastic oncology and particularly in the field of understanding biology of lung cancer and treating lung cancer after understanding how the biology works. So um, 10 years ago, we had only surgery, chemotherapy and radiation oncology. And since 10 years, we had two big revolutions. The first revolution was finding targets that are driver, oncologic, oncogenic driver. And now we have several of them for which we have amazing drugs that are targeting those biological abnormalities and giving a very high response rates with very low toxicity. And we are now improving significantly the survival of the patient with taking pills at home and uh, having PFS up to two years or more with several lines of drugs. And then we had a second revolution right after this one. Uh, is the emergence of immunotherapy in the field of treatment of lung cancer. Lung cancer is a very good target for immunotherapy because there is a high rate of mutation. Therefore, immunotherapy works very well in lung cancer. We started to use uh, immunotherapy in 2015 and 16 in the second line setting. Very recently, it came in the first line setting with a large improvement as well for the outcome of the patient. Until recently, we were only prescribing those for patients with a high rate of PDL1 expression as a single drug. And since this year, 2018, it came in the first line setting in combination with chemotherapy for every patient, whatever they express or not PDL1. So we can really say that because of the better understanding of lung cancer biology, we have many new drugs, many new opportunities to treat the patient. We cannot cure them yet, but we can really improve their outcome. And that's really remarkable, because if you look back even five years, we were hardly seeing any change in the rate of survival, well, for 40 or 50 years, though it just wasn't any movement. And now suddenly we're just seeing this explosion in the field of thoracic oncology. This is true. Uh, we had first the targeted therapy. It improved the survival for a very small group of patients, those having oncogenic driver. And now with immunotherapy, we can improve survival for all patients. And I'm very sure it will still move a lot in the next month. I'm speaking of months because every three months we have a different meeting and new studies are presented and new opportunities are coming up every month. And uh, in the future, combination of different immunotherapy may still improve significantly their survival. We could improve as well the way we detect patients that can benefit the most of the treatment. And I'm very sure that progressively lung cancer will become a chronic disease. So there you have it, thoracic oncology, very rapidly moving field. New therapeutics, which we never would have dreamt of, uh, even in the last couple of years, let alone the last uh, five years. So do look at that session. It's on live at ERS Plus, and we've got lots more for you to come.